what is up guys welcome back to the fifth episode of tutorial tuesdays and today i'm going to be showing you how to flip a bottle and land it every single time now why should you trust me you may be thinking well 107 127 and apart from being confident enough in my bottle flipping abilities to land it on my forehead and juggle with it on national television, I also was the winner of the International Bottle Syndicate, which is a bottle flipping competition in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, great initialism, by the way, with the IBS. And I got first place. Here are some clips from last year. And this year's competition should be airing on ESPN2, from what I've heard. Uh, that should be relatively soon. Actually, I have no idea. But here we go. Here is how to flip a bottle and land it every single time. So first thing, you're going to need a water bottle. Technically, you don't need a water bottle because you can flip just about anything with enough practice. But having a water bottle will definitely make it a lot easier, especially to do it consistently. Uh, this is actually the exact bottle that I used on the gong show. I don't know if I was allowed to keep it, but I did. So uh, this is actually a really nice bottle for flipping. I'm not exactly sure why, but it has lasted a very long time. One thing you'll find is that when you use bottle for a while, it may get dented on the bottom, especially with the thinner plastics. But this one has lasted at least like six months and there's almost no dents, which is pretty amazing. But when you first start off, you're actually going to want to fill up the bottle about one third of the way. Now, it depends on the bottle that you use. If you have a thinner plastic, you're actually going to fill it up a little less than a third. But if you've got kind of like a thick, heavy plastic, kind of like this, uh, I found this at, I think at Target, they had bottle flipping bottles. These aren't great for bottle flipping, but they're okay. The bottom is a little too flat for how I like flipping, but they're okay. Uh, they last a long time as well. So. Yeah, about one third of the way. Now, to be able to tell how much you need, you can do a little test. And that is to put the water bottle at sort of a 45 degree angle. And if it comes back, then that means that it is a good amount of water. If it falls over this way, then that means you have either too much or too little water in. Because uh, if you think about it, if there's no water in it, it's just gonna tip over. And if the water's too high, it will fall over as well because there's too much water pushing it down. Now the reason for this is you want the lowest center of balance possible because when you have an empty water bottle, the center of balance is right in the middle-ish. And so when you flip it, it's sort of top heavy and unless you land it basically flat, it's gonna tip over, it's gonna bounce, something's gonna happen. And if you have a full bottle of water, the center balance is also pretty much in the middle. So as you start with the empty bottle, as you fill it up, the center balance goes from the middle and starts going down. Now the second the line of water passes the center balance, then it starts going back up. So right around that third mark is generally where you want it. Now the flip itself. When you flip the bottle, you're going to want to kind of hold on right from the top. Now what I do is I hold on with four of my fingers. I don't use my pinky. Uh, I kind of have range it in a sort of square type thing where I have the, my middle finger and thumb across from each other and the pointer finger and ring finger across from each other. And then you can kind of swing it and then let it go. Now the middle finger I think is really doing the bulk of the flip. Um, I mean, they all kind of contribute, but I think really that's the one that's driving the flip. 
Now you don't want to use too much arm. You don't want to just throw it out there. You really want to have it with your hand all in the, it's all in the wrist really. And you can get it pretty much every time as if you're doing it like that. Now another thing, it's very helpful if you're not too high up. Because when you're high up, the bottle will, want, will fall pretty hard and gravity will accelerate the bottle as it goes down. So you're going to really want to start as low as possible. If you have kind of a lower one, you kind of want to bend your knees and really flip with the wrist. Now you can also start sort of below the table and that will actually help it as well because if you start down here and flip, once it gets to right here, that is where uh, it kind of stops in midair because there's going to be a point where it's going up, 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 and then it starts going down. If you get it right where it pretty much stops in the air, that will actually be the easiest to land, or actually as it's still going up, pretty much. That's why getting it onto a really high arch or whatever, which I'm sure you've seen, it's actually not as difficult as it looks. I mean, it's still very hard, but because you can throw it up and have it basically stop and land, that's why. Uh, that's why you never see shots from really high up landing because the bottle will be going very fast as it's falling down. So you really just need to practice just getting that flip and getting it every single time. Uh, as long as you are, you know, using that wrist and rather than the whole arm, you'll be able to really get it consistent and really just keep practicing it. That's all there is to it. I know that may not be exactly what you want to hear, but when I first started, I was not good. It's not something that you are naturally born with. One last thing I forgot to mention is the surface that you're flipping on. You're definitely going to want something that is nice and solid. You don't want like something that's cushiony because then it will kind of fall over or like carpet. It's not going to be great for flipping. But if you have a nice solid surface, uh, it will definitely land up and down pretty straight and you will not have as many problems. Thank you guys for making it this far. I really appreciate watching the full video. If you could, please leave a like. And if you enjoy my content, want to see more tutorial videos, please subscribe. I really want to try and get to that thousand mark because YouTube has really changed how you can be a partner. And I don't think I have enough watch time to be able to still be a partner, but I would really appreciate if you could help me get a little bit closer. So again, thank you for watching. Peace. Thank you.